Affairs Rishi Sunak takes charge. UK Foreign Secretary dials Jay Shankar, External Affairs Minister, and his British counterpart James Cleverly on Tuesday discuss bilateral relations and the fallout of the Ukraine conflict. Soon after Rishi Sunak took over as the UK Prime Minister, there was no official readout on the conversation from both sides, and Jay Shankar said in a tweet that he received a call from Cleverly and that they discussed counterterrorism, bilateral relations, and the Ukraine conflict. This is the latest coming in. The UK Foreign Secretary has dialed S. Jay Shankar. And while we don't have an official statement coming in, we are being told that bilateral relations are being discussed. And of course, uh, the Ukraine conflict that looms large has been discussed. Rishi Sunak had earlier called himself a living bridge between UK and India. Also a term that Prime Minister Narendra Modi had greeted him with uh, when he congratulated him on ascending to the top spot in uh, UK. And now a call between the UK Foreign Secretary and our External Affairs Minister. There is a lot of talk about the sort of wait for the visa uh, which most Indians will be looking at. But Rishi Sunak has also said that it's not going to be a one-way equation where only Indian students uh, go to the UK. But he's also said that he wishes for UK students to come to India to uh, learn from uh, the kind of tradition, custom and also uh, the knowledge uh, that the country can have. Now we're going across to Abhishek Jha who joins us on the phone line with more details. Abhishek, what more do we know about the conversation that took place uh, between uh, Cleverly and uh, uh, S.J. Shankar? Uh, so uh, with the latest cabinet reshuffle that uh, Rishi Sunak has announced, James Cleverly uh, will be in charge of all these issues of counterterrorism and international cooperation and in that context, uh, external affairs ministers, the talk with him is very important because uh, we know that uh, two days from now, India is also going to host a counterterrorism uh, event where all the United Nations members will be visiting and discussing the ways to deal with the menace of terrorism and global terrorism, uh, money laundering that helps terrorism to flourish across the globe, and how to contain that, what steps could be taken. So uh, as India is also going to host such a major uh, international event under the aegis of United Nations. Uh, external Affairs ministers talk with his UK counterpart, uh, who is significant because India and UK have been in past also trying to deepen uh, their cooperation on the issues of fight against global terrorism. Abhishek, when it comes to countering terrorism, uh, are India and UK on the same page? Of course, because uh, India has been one of the victims of counter-terrorism uh, for various uh, several years. And now when the terrorism has actually spread across the globe, it does not uh, have any boundaries. Uh, but we know that there are certain countries, certain geographical locations where these terrorist activities uh, are harbored, are protected, actually let uh, flourish. So in, in that way, India has been uh, Abhishek, I will to have bring... to interrupt you because we have some very important